Hey guys, Spider by Next Gen Tactics .com, and uh, this is my first search and destroy game, and it's flawless on Summit. And uh, actually, get uh, shoved into this game at the end of the first round, so you know it's flawless for three rounds, but whatever. And I'm just gonna be talking about basically what I do to develop strategies for search. All I do, and you know, I, every time I play, it's gonna take you know a couple weeks to to get these strategies uh, fully tested, fully you know. Um, you know, anywhere near completed, but I basically rush every single game, every single round, and you just make a mental note of where you run into these guys. And I know there's there's a guy in here, so I'm gonna come up here, and um, you actually see, there was actually one guy who was in Last Stand, and his buddy, they're on split screen, looks like his buddy was standing right over top of him. I was I wasn't even aiming at the guy uh, who was down. I thought he was like just the body there. He's dead, but I ended up getting a headshot on him. And I apologize for that freaking cat sound. I do mute it this round. Um, I didn't really have a chance to mute it before before now. Uh, it's freaking people. What a moron. I don't know. Anyways, so I, I just try different rushes, you know. I'll rush the left side. I'll rush the middle. I'll rush the right side. And, and I'm just trying to find out where I run into people. And I'm using Lightweight, I'm using Marathon. I don't have Marathon Pro though, which is going to alter the um, the strategy. I mean, not really the strategy, it's just going to alter the points where you will run into people uh, slightly because you know, I think with Marathon Pro, you do have unlimited sprint, whereas with just regular Marathon, you don't. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's going to be fairly negligible. And uh, I've got the Nap Napalm Strike. We've got... Okay, that guy just went down. So I think the guy's in here somewhere, or he's on the far side. So I'm going to try... Again, I don't know the maps very well, so I'm going to try and stay stay sort of in between A and B here. Um, we know there's only one guy left, I believe. And I'm going to pop the Claymore down, because... I keep forgetting about that. I really wish there was a, a equipment that uh, was more offensive. So our, our teammate got taken out at A, but... You know, I, I checked the target quick at A. I'm going to sit here for a minute. A lot of times when it happens nowadays, guys will, will you know, if they kill somebody at A, they'll go over to the other target uh, because they know whoever's left on, on my team is going to be looking for them at A. And what I want to do here, I'm just watching B, and I'm really close to A, so I've got a good, this is actually a good line of sight here. So I see him, and I want to try and drop the freaking napalm strike off, and I do it too quick, and I end up... Popping it off way too far to the right. Uh, would have been freaking great if I just napalm the shit out of this guy, but it was obviously way over way too far. So I'm gonna come back around and flank him. And he was still there. So I take him out. But that would have been pretty cool if I burned his ass. No pun intended. Uh, but you know, I still pull it out and I give it to him right here. Uh, no pun intended there either. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, so those are uh, the two defensive rounds. And uh, here we're on offense. And I'm going to do sort of the left side rush. I've got a counter, and, or I've counter spy plane and a spy plane. And um, I don't know if these guys have given up. Well, I get this guy, he's. Looks like he's a sniper or something. He's got a secondary out. And uh, there's a couple of, uh, well, there was a kill, I think, in the last round or the round before where I tried hip firing and I got the assist instead of the kill. And there's a, there's a dot over here. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing, but whatever. He's dead. <laughs> I don't really care what the hell he's doing. So I'm going to come over here. We got teammates over at A, so I'm definitely coming over to B. I catch this guy going by. And the other, uh, the last blip, uh, the last guy is blipping over at uh, A at A target, so I'm going to run over there. we got one teammate left. So he's sort of got this right side, so I, I, I was planning on actually flanking just in, ki just in case the guy got away, but uh, my teammate en ended up taking him out. But uh, basically, yeah, we're not into strategy yet. I'm not posting these to be overly strategic. I'm basically showing you what it is that I go through in order to develop these strategies, and it's basically all about doing the rushes and, you know, just over and over and over again I mean, I don't make notes. I don't go through Guns' map walkthroughs. Nothing. I I just get in there and I play the game. I don't I don't walk the map. 
nothing. I just play, and you know, I just make mental notes of where I run into people, and I sort of uh, captured the screenshot here of the uh, the final score. So now I know. Uh, it doesn't show assists. Black Ops doesn't show assists, which kind of bugs me. Uh, I don't know why they're not showing assists up there, but whatever. Anyways, it is what it is, and um, so yeah, we're looking forward to. To, or I'm looking forward to developing these strategies for you guys, and uh, like I said, it's going to take some time. I'll try to post up some some full games or partial games or whatever I get and capture in the meantime on my way to producing a Rush series that you guys are expecting and hopefully maybe even exceeding your expectations for, uh, for a Rush series for Black Ops Search and Destroy. All right, hope you guys liked it. Thanks a lot. For NextGenTactics.com, I'm SpiderBite, and I'm out. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.